So I have been searching for a wallpaper setting program that works in all window managers and desktop environments across X11 and Wayland. Now, that sounds like, hey, you should probably be able to find something like that out there. Well, it's kind of a unicorn. It really, it, there's not a lot of programs that actually set wallpaper in both X11 and Wayland and that actually work. I only found a handful of programs scouring the internet for such a wallpaper setter um, and, and every program I tried failed to work at some point on some things but I came across this uh, really neat program here called Waypaper. Now Waypaper is really cool because it's a GUI wallpaper setter for Wayland and Xorg window managers. It's a front end to popular wallpaper back ends. So typically on an X11 system you probably have FE installed. Fay, uh, it's basically just a, a way to take images, uh, screenshots, draw wallpaper, things like that. Uh, it's an image program. It's typically there on like 95% of your GNU slash Linux distributions. You already have it installed, so no need to install it. For Wayland window managers, uh, one of the more popular Wayland window managers, of course, is Hyperland, and most of those guys are going to use Hyperpaper. Hyperpaper could be used on other uh, Wayland window managers as well, and if you've got both of those installed all you need to do is when you run Waypaper I've already got it installed Waypaper is in the AUR in uh, Arch Linux it's also already built in the chaotic AUR if you have the chaotic AUR turned on now when you launch Waypaper for the very first time I think by default it's going to search in the folder uh, pictures so in your home directory you have a pictures folder and that's typically where it's going to try to grab wallpaper from for me I didn't have any wallpapers in my home slash pictures directory on most Linux systems you will find wallpapers like your official wallpaper packs go to folder here and go to uh, other locations computer go into user share backgrounds and that is where you're going to have your default wallpaper packs for your Linux distribution. And here I've got a DTOS dash backgrounds for my DTOS distribution. And that is what you're looking at here. If it's a very large collection of wallpapers, it may take a few seconds for it all to load. And then you need to make sure that you have those wallpaper setter backends installed. So if you don't already have FEH installed, install it. And if you're using X11 window manager, or if you have a, a Wayland window manager, install something like hyperpaper and you will have this little drop down menu and you choose the appropriate back end program for me I'm using a Qtile which Qtile does have both the X11 and a Wayland version that's why I needed a wallpaper program that would work on both um, right now I'm just using a Qtile on X11 so I've got FEH installed on the system so if I just click a wallpaper and let me actually make this smaller so you can see that the wallpaper does change. If I click on a wallpaper it changes it. On all three of my monitors I've got a triple monitor system of course you can change you know how it draws the wallpapers. You've got fill, stretch, fit, center, tile, you know all the selections that you would normally have. One of the cool things you have here in Waypaper is you have this button here for uh, random you just get a random wallpaper especially if you have a very large wallpaper pack sometimes you just want to you know randomly choose one instead of going through it and selecting you know just hit the random button you know as quickly as you can you know three or four times until you come across one that just you know tickles your fancy you know maybe uh, click this you know a few times until I get to you know something like hey I like that one you know and then get out of Waypaper. And that's pretty much it for Waypaper. You know, there's not much to a wallpaper program, right? Uh, if you uh, have some options here, if you go to options, you can tell it to show GIFs only, show subfolders, etc. But there's really not much to do. Mainly, you give it a folder to search your images for and you pick the appropriate back end and then you know if you need to change how it draws the wallpaper for example stretch or tile however whatever it is you're trying to do and that's pretty much it now the reason I'm sharing this program with you guys today is because even though you know you would think drawing wallpaper in Linux is a pretty simple thing to do uh, I, again, if you're somebody that uses um, both X11 and Wayland window managers slash desktop environments, it is extremely hard to find a single program that will draw wallpaper on both 
X11 and Wayland. It's just, you know, the way that Wayland is designed is radically different than X11 and a lot of the old wallpaper programs, things like Nitrogen and, you know, those old GUI programs that still draw wallpaper just fine on X11. They don't do anything in Wayland. And then a lot of the things built specifically for Wayland are not adding support for X11. So it's hard to find one that does both. So in this case, I really wanted to share this with you guys because I think this project deserve some attention. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Matt Steve, 40mm, Cap Caveman, Darloff Lee, Jersey Killer, Mark, Methos, Erjan, Paul, Peace Arch and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, War Gentoo and Ubuntu and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at Waypaper would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen, all these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work, want to see more videos about Linux and great free and open source software programs like Waypaper, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.